We first brought you this story over the weekend. Sean Brannon from Somerville faces a charge of unlawful imprisonment. He allegedly locked his girlfriend in a room by screwing the door shut. Despite the serious charges, he's out on a $500 bond. Tonight we're hearing more from domestic violence advocates who explain how this happened. And Way 31 reporter Julia Miller joins me live in studio now. Uh, Julia, they also share details on what people can do to escape dangerous situations. Nikel, yes. Priceville police tell me Brandon faces a misdemeanor charge. This is why his bond was set so low and he's now back on the streets tonight. I asked the team at the domestic violence group Safe Place about how they deal with cases like this one and protect victims at the same time. Safe Place is one of 17 domestic violence shelters serving victims of domestic violence across Alabama. Sandra Ells, the executive director at Safe Place, says domestic violence starts with isolation from everything and everyone around you. It starts with more isolation, isolation from family, friends. Um, it, it escalates from there. She says domestic violence can go beyond just the physical aspect. Domestic abuse is never, ever just physical. It is gaslighting, it is coercive, it is isolation. All of those things happen mostly before the actual physical abuse happens. She warns not to wait if you believe you're in a domestic violence relationship. Do what's right for yourself and ask questions. If you start feeling unnerved, or in fear, don't wait, don't, please start asking others, please start asking the right kind of questions. Elle says if you do find yourself in a dangerous situation, call 911. First and foremost, if they're in a um, threatening situation, the fastest way is to dial 911, get the police, first and foremost. She says crisis services of North Alabama, along with Safe Place, are ready to help you and are only one call away. For the full story on Brandon and more information about Safe Place, visit our website, waytv.com. Reporting live in studio with coverage you can count on, Julia Miller, Way 31 News.